let's talk observers, observables, uh, basically like little chunks of state that you can share anywhere in an application and subscribers will get updates uh, when that state changes, right? Uh, that, that's the whole idea behind this pattern. Now, I've, I've seen a lot of uh, descriptions of it, a lot of uh, information out there on like how to implement this. And a lot of it involves like classes and breaking it up into like all these different parts. Um, and so like what I've tried to do here is break it down to its bare essentials. Um, and I'm going to do away with all of the proper nomenclature. So if you want to learn the lingo and like uh, some like draw.io diagram of like how these things work and communicate to each other and all of that, like we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Uh, we're just doing like a raw Node.js implementation of an observer. And hopefully like you can take this and, and chew on it and uh, use it because um, that's what this stuff is for. It's to be used. This is a tool. Let's get into it. Uh, so what we have here is a function, right? Not a class, just a function uh, called init observable. And that will become obvious why I've named it that way shortly. Um, and what we're going to do here is we're going to instantiate observers. Uh, and observers is an array, and that makes sense uh, to make it an array uh, in this particular case. Uh, because we're going to be pushing things into this array and filtering them out. Uh, so we've got our observers. Uh, we're going to be passing functions to these observers. Uh, and and we'll, we'll see like why I made that decision um, in just a second here. Uh, then we need some data that uh, these observers want access to when it updates, right? Um, so yes, we... Uh, definitely want to do that. Oh, I actually just thought of a thing. I'll add this in at the end and we'll see if it actually makes a lot of sense. It, it, may, it may make no sense, but uh, it might make sense. It's a thing I, I thought about doing to the subscribe function where like the observer gets the initial state. Anyway, uh, this might be a thing. Uh, it might not be a thing. We need a way to subscribe and unsubscribe. That's what, that's what we need. So like the observers, the observable data, this all lives in the instance, the observer instance. So like what we're going to do to use this is this. This is how we use it. We execute the function. We instantiate the function. This creates a closure around all of this functionality and returns us all these neat little functions to like reach into it and update things and do stuff with it. Uh, so it's, it's, it's neat in that way. Um, but that's how we're going to use it. So we need a way to subscribe, which is just adding an observer. We need a way to unsubscribe, which is just removing an observer. Um, and then when the data changes, when this observable data is updated, so like we have this add and remove function that does that. It basically takes data and adds it in there. Uh, we have it like throwing an ID or like date.now in here. Um, and then we take that idea if we want to remove something from the array and we just like filter it out. But when we do that, we want to do a thing with it. We need to make these subscribers aware of what's going on. And so what we do is we update observers. We execute this update observers uh, method or function. And we just take the observables, the observers array and we iterate over it. And since all of our observers, this is why I like that comment up here where these are functions, since all of our observers are just functions, we just execute them and pass the current observable data, right? Uh, so like we'll, we'll make this work here in just a second. We'll take this observer instance and, and, and use it. Um, so if you want to add data, uh, it you know just spreads that into, into the observer data object and then like we're going to be passing IDs, but I'm into like safety checks. So we're going to check for that. And if it's not there, we're just going to give it a date dot now. And then if we want to remove, we take that ID and we filter it, right? So we're returning all of this to use. So essentially what this is, is an instance that we can subscribe to, unsubscribe to, add to the data and remove from the data. 
Uh, so I'm actually going to just like destructure this, right? Because I don't want to type out observer instance dot add dot subscribe dot this dot that. But this is essentially equivalent to that. Um, so uh, we're going to create a subscriber. Um, and a subscriber can really be anything. But we, in this case, um, it's our old buddy, right? So our logger subscriber will subscribe to the instance. So we've initialized our observable. Uh, we have uh, something that wants to subscribe to the data and a subscribe, uh, 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 we, we've added to this, right? So when we run it, nothing happens. Well, of course nothing happens. Uh, we've only subscribed. So this is instantiated. All of this stuff does exist, but we haven't triggered any changes because we haven't added anything into the observable, right? So, so let's add a message in here. Um, Uh, I don't know if you guys are watching Westworld, but Dolores is pretty rad. So what we have here is uh, the subscriber has subscribed, uh, and then something is added to this. And since our subscriber is a logger, uh, it is logged. Uh, now, we could unsubscribe, right, our logger subscriber and then might miss out on this little bit of information that's a secret like we don't actually know now our logger subscriber is completely unaware that Dolores is dead uh, she's not really dead I don't know what happens this season uh, but she, I think she's probably gonna die right like you have to kill that hero off uh, uh, we can go ahead and remove that, All right? And then uh, subscribe, and let's just subscribe directly with console log, right? Uh, and then we can go ahead and add something here again. Uh, another message. Okay, so. I think you maybe understand that this is our logger, right? So now we can tell, like, this is our logger. Our logger only gets this update because our logger has subscribed, gets this message, and then unsubscribes. Whereas a raw, like, console log gets this last you missed out message, right? It gets the entire state, right? So th this is an interesting thing to kind of like build and play with and, and see what you can do to kind of tailor it to your specific use case um, in, uh, in a lot of different scenarios. This can be very useful and very powerful. Uh, but this is uh, kind of what I think is a base implementation. Uh, if you think there's something that's maybe better or different. Oh, that's right. Uh, so one of, one of the things I was thinking here is like, all right, so we're uh, like pushing to this observers thing, right? But then should we, uh, should we then, like th this is one of those things that, that you can experiment with and see if it works for your use case. Um, should we then execute that and make sure that it's up to date with the observable data? Uh, that might be useful in this case. So like, all right, uh, let's back up here to uh, So we have our logger. Uh, let's do this again. Let's see if we can. Our subscriber gets observable data. Okay, cool. So now we can see when somebody's 
subscribed and unsubscribed, right? So our logger subscribes, it gets the initial data, it's an empty array. Our logger then gets the change uh, when Dolores is rad, right? Uh, then our, our logger subscriber unsubscribes, right? Yes, unsubscribes. We then add something to this. Uh, do, 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 do. Dolores is dead. And then we remove it. <laughs> I've, I've managed to confuse myself. Uh, okay, so we add something to this, we then remove it. Uh, make it a little less confusing. It's still gonna be confusing because we're just logging a bunch of shit out into the console. However, um, this gives you an idea of, you know, if you do something like this, where you initialize your subscribers with the data instead of waiting for a change, that might be a useful change. Um, okay, anyway, um, maybe you found this useful. Uh, maybe this is extra confusing and you prefer classes. I don't know, let me know in the comments uh, if there's something that you would do differently or uh, something that you've done with this pattern that you thought was super cool. Uh, thanks.